hard to get yourself moving in times like these. And I'm not just saying that because, have you noticed, I'm at a new bike here. I know you can't see the bike, you can't ever see the bike, but it's a new bike. The poster actually used to be down there. It was more of a recumbent bike, but now it's a taller fit bike. Very cool. Got it for my birthday. Thank you, spouse. And so I'm at a new bike and I'm moving even though I'm staying still. You might be wondering, where is Sammy going with this today? I know that extended quarantine, Lent, and winter have all collided to make us pretty much immobile. It makes action in times like these really difficult, but without action, there's no movement forward. And without action, injustices remain unrighted, and love remains unshared, and people remain unreached. And we can't have any of that, can we? That's why today we are talking about how to encourage action this Lent within your congregation. My name is Sammy. I'm here as always with Digivangelism every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We post a new podcast, video, blog post, episode, sharing with you the latest digital ministry tips and trends, sometimes from a bike that is tall, sometimes from a bike that is low. If any of that sounds interesting to you, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss a single video that we put out, get you some digital ministry goodness, you don't want to miss it. So today we are bringing you two different lists of ways to encourage action within your congregation this Lent. First, we're going to talk about action that your congregation can take to help your church's digital ministry presence. Second, we're going to talk about action that your community can take to do more than just read about, talk about, think about the injustices in our world, to actually take action on these things. In a way, these actions go together. If you are taking action against the injustices in our world, we hope you are sharing about them online. Alternatively, if you're already committed to posting online and having a digital ministry presence and talking about the injustices in our midst, we also hope you are taking action on these things. In fact, let's start with committing to digital ministry presence before we get into actually taking action on these social injustices. Here's a secret that's probably not much of a secret at all. Church leader, you can't do it all. In fact, you should not do it all. We've said this so many times. Here's some great ways to invite your people to participate in your church's digital ministry presence. You can have people who enjoy photography take photos for you, for of your church, of your people, of events, of anything they want really, and then use those pictures in your social media and in your website. In fact, once you have one person taking pictures, can that person or another person just design something that could go on Facebook or Instagram using those pictures? Maybe add some text to it or a call to action to it and then can you teach them how to post it or do they already know how to post it? If so, you've just onboarded your first social media helper. Number two, very similar. Can you have one person post one type of thing every week? Can you have someone that is your question asker who just comes up with a new fun question to ask every Wednesday? Can you have one person who is your music video sharer? They just find a YouTube video of an awesome faith related song or even video that you approve if you want and then they post for all of your community to engage with. Can you have one person person who posts your worship video every single week after Sunday service. Before you know it, you have a whole team that is supporting an active social media presence for your community without it being too overwhelming for one person, especially you. Not only does this help your church reach people online with the love of Jesus, which is, hey, what we're here to help you do, but this also helps more and more people get involved in the active ministry of your congregation. Be sure to have them watch some of the videos we'll link up here to help them on their way. Number three, train one or two people to help your people learn how to use social media. Or you could ask a team of people to help you lead a training on this thing. Make sure you record this session or record a practice session or something so that you can share this video with future people who are interested in using social media. It'll make the process a lot more efficient, a lot easier. Yes, you can still have some of these helpers meet with people who need help, but at least they'll have a video first of the whole training that you developed. Number four, encourage your people to send in devotions or reflections of their time with God or testimonies perhaps. You can then use these as resources to share on your social media. They could be tweets, they could be graphic image posts. You can even have them share via video or just record yourself describing the testimony that they sent in. Make sure to cite your source and give credit to the person who submitted the work if they're okay with that or respect privacy if they are not. Number five, unleash your numbers-minded folks on your social media analytics. You are bound to have at least one person in your congregation that is very good with numbers. That's just how their brain works. So why not use their gifts to the glory of God through your social media by 
giving them access to your analytics and just letting them run wild. And they can recommend the different types of posts that you should be making based on what your people are already engaging with. So maybe they'll notice one or two posts over the past few months or years that have really done well. And then you can make more of that kind of content. Or maybe they'll say, hey, every time you do this, nobody reacts to it, so stop doing it. And that would be good to know too. Allow these people to use their gifts to help you out in this worthy endeavor. All right, now that we've talked about how your congregation can help your community community participate more effectively in their digital ministry presence, let's talk about actually taking some action on these issues that come up in our faith, these social justice issues that we believe in so strongly that are important to us, what can we actually do about them? Because, you know, we can pray about the hungry getting fed and the earth being healed and we can make great posts about the injustices in our world and how we want everyone to be treated regardless of their sexuality or gender identity or economic class or race or any of these things but what are we doing to actually take action on these things? Are we doing anything about it at all? And remember, this connects so deeply to your digital ministry presence because if you are taking action, you wanna be sharing these things. And if you're sharing about these things, you don't wanna just be sharing about them. You wanna be taking action as well. So here are a few specific ways you can encourage your community to move forward. Number one, just showing up. Yes, we are still in pandemic land, but COVID hasn't stopped social justice work. People are still organizing, community organizing, groups in social distance settings, events, or on Zoom. There are still protests and marches and walks you can get involved with and your body has value when you show up. Even on a Zoom screen, there's value to that. And depending on the level of privilege that you possess, your body showing up might mean a lot more to the people in power for you to just be there. So take the time to show up as a church for the issues that mean something for your community. Next up, donating. Whether you are collecting dollars or physical donations from people, put your money where your mouth is as a church and start organizing some collections of more than just words and prayers. Those things are great, but how can we take action? Find somewhere local that you can engage with and connect with and trust with your donations and gifts. Number three, taking a stance is a great way to take action as a church. Reading things and discussing things is great, but has your church made any moves to actually make a formal statement about something, against something or for something that you can share on your website, share on your social media page? When your church says something as a body of faith, it takes on more weight in the minds of people. It matters. Number four, getting involved in what's going on in your community. Call representatives, sign petitions, and invite your community in on these acts. Even if you cannot go anywhere safely or give any money, give of your time, give of your effort, give of your voice. And last but not least, number five, speaking out. In your sermons, in your social media posts, and in everywhere in between, speak out for what you believe in. When it's appropriate, clearly outline where your church stands and why. And people will need to know the why because a lot of people have questions about these things. So be as transparent as possible. And that's it. Now's the time where we welcome you to grab some helpers and get going. Start changing the way that your church engages with social media and social issues. And if you're not sure where to look for help, just remember that a lot of times volunteers just need to be trained. So they might have zero skills in whatever you're asking of them to do, but if they have a willingness, it's at least worth a shot. Other times, your best ministry helpers might not actually be members at all. So keep your eyes open to all possibilities. Ask and ask again. If it is important to your community, it will happen. And we sure hope it happens. Again, I'm Sammy. I'm here at Digivangelism. We're here every single week. So please like and subscribe if this video brought you any value. That way you will be sure to see even more and more digital ministry videos in the weeks to come. Today, we brought the knowledge and we hope and we pray that you will take it and put it into action. <laughs>